Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back. We're still monitoring this long line of strong thunderstorms that are moving through the Wabash Valley. Now, thankfully, at this moment, these are all below the severe weather threshold, but they are producing some areas of, again, some very strong wind, heavier rain. You see how widespread the rain is. You can see up here, uh, moving into the Greencastle area, along I-70, I get a spot of some of our heaviest rain. You can see our lightning trackers on a lightning bolt there. It's rumbles of thunder. If you're driving along I-70 to Indy, back and forth here, you're driving through some rain here over the next half hour. What's the most concerning part of this storm, though, is down here to the southwest and now moving into the Wabash Valley. You can see how widespread that heavier rain is. The lightning trackers on. It's producing a large amount of lightning all in the area. This is moving into your area at this moment. Uh, Lawrenceville, you're in the path. Robinson, and you can see this storm now beginning to move into the Crawford County. Sullivan County area areas that were impacted greatly by last Friday's storm. So Storm Team 10, Kevin Orpert, Everett Lau, they've been here all day. They've been coordinating with our reporters in these communities and they're trying to get some live pictures for you information. Uh, Everett, Kevin, what are you seeing now? All right, thank you, uh, Brady. And you know, you mentioned Crawford County and so now we have News 10's Blake Dollier. He is in Crawford County. And you can see now rain and uh, possible storms moving into Crawford County. Uh, Blake is at the community center in Robinson. Uh, Blake has learned that they are pausing work today because of the weather. As you can see there, it's just not good weather for any sort of uh, cleanup work. Uh, this gives officials a chance, however, to catch up on other paperwork and communication with the state. And so that's what it looks like right now in Crawford County. Everett? And then over in Sullivan, News 10's Kayla Bryant and Tony Cassasia are there. You can see the dark clouds there on the horizon. They're just outside Sullivan City Hall. And they've been speaking with the mayor, so you're going to hear from them coming up at 5 Look and 6 cloud. on yeah, News 10. But yeah, there comes that line of showers and storms right now. Not too much lightning being detected. Again, no warnings anywhere in the News 10 viewing area, but certainly probably some tense times down there in Sullivan after Scary. dealing with Friday's storms. Yeah. But again, right now, no warnings for the city of Sullivan or the county. Thank you, Kevin Everett. Uh, you can see that line that you're talking about in Sullivan, especially just now beginning to move in to that part of the viewing area. And you saw that that picture there, that, that darker cloud. And that's what we're dealing with. And again, the most concerning part of this storm is down here to the southwest. We're going to monitor this over the next couple of hours. You can see our active watches yellow color there. All the counties in Indiana under a tornado watch that pink color there, a severe thunderstorm watch. But what's uh, good news here is Coles County, Edgar County, Cumberland County, that watch has been allowed to expire just over the last couple of hours thanks to that line of storms moving through this area and this is going to continue to move through over the course of the afternoon hopefully allowing these watches to continue to expire and you see our future cast for the rest of the afternoon here you can see how that line future cast would indicate loses some of its punch to the northeast but down to the southwest here where we're concerned about continues to gain some strength as it tries to move through the wabash valley so we're going to watch this over the course of this afternoon if the storms moving through the wabash valley storm team 10 is here we're going to track it. Hopefully it stays below severe levels. Start to make a plan now just in case, though. I hope you don't need to use it, but just make a severe weather plan now. Uh, you can see two, two to three, three to four. What's left behind is scattered rain. You can see most of the threat is done by mid afternoon. And you can see four to five, maybe even over here to the west before uh, sunset, maybe some sunlight. But over the course of the rest of the day, again, we're going to start to see these storms move out. Temperatures are going to continue to decline. Some areas still hanging on in the mid 70s. We're going to drop to the 40s tonight as that cold front producing the thunderstorms rolls through here and then tomorrow mid 50s cooler than normal for this part of the year. But if you can get through today again, we got nice weather on the way. Temperatures in the lower 60s, mid 60s on Saturday. Again, just stay informed about this afternoon as this line is right down the middle of the Wabash Valley now continues to move through here. And like I said, Storm Team 10 is here all afternoon. We're going to monitor this, uh, keep you updated as we move through the rest of the day before very nice weather arrives just in time for Easter weekend.